to that. Oh. Oh, Lord. Do not lose that. Welcome back. I am a friendly pest, and today I'm playing Into the Radius. I'm playing on an Oculus Quest 2, streaming the game from my PC over Airlink. And today's going to be a fun day. I have just finished sorting my stuff and things from the last run in because that takes forever. Uh, I'm going to do some basic weapon maintenance. I'm going to load my magazines. I'm going to get a quest, and we're going to try to go out to the village today using the scavenger mod. I didn't mention that in the beginning of the video. I'm using a scavenger mod. Uh, slightly reduced awareness mod for the enemies, and then also a mob that makes the electric anomalies not dangerous. Uh, and if you have any interest in those, let me know. But I've done that to change the paradigm for how the game plays, and it's great. If you want to skip all my beginning stuff, that timestamp will be here. Otherwise, I've got some weapon maintenance and some uh, reloading to do. As you can see, I spent some time emptying all these magazines and then loading the ammo into the bigger bins so i've got uh, a fair amount of ammo considering i'm two runs into this mod and then i've got a full small box of both types of ammo that i'm carrying right now on me um so yeah we're doing okay i'm going to jump straight to maintenance and i'll come back out and reload once i know exactly what all i'm going to carry um yeah Sorting, sorting ammo back and forth between boxes uh, is kind of a pain, so I enjoy. I like doing it out here because I've got all this area, and I can. If I drop bullets, they're easy to spot. I don't want to do it in here and lose track of them. I mean, in here you got the carpets, you got the different patterns, you got this like floor paper that's peeling up. It's not a good situation if you drop a bullet. So we'll start with the pistol, which. I carry a lot of this thing because it's a uh, it's kind of my primary source of of damage right now. I've got this pretty slick SMG thing, but I've only got two magazines for it, so I can't travel as heavy with it. So uh, let me get my brain going here. I'm feeling a little bit a little bit distracted today. So first, I do want to take the suppressor off this thing. Um, and I might put that on the leave dressing mode. I might put that on the SMG. I haven't decided. So this thing's in excellent condition. I don't have a ramrod to finish repairing it, so we're not going to worry about that. This thing, also I can't repair. Can't repair. This is going to be some quick maintenance. I could top them up a little bit, but I can't do a ton to them because they're in they're in such good condition already. But we'll go ahead and top them up. That one's perfect. I didn't realize that. Just a pinch, and I've been very fortunate to find tons of spray so far. What I've not been able to find is a ramrod. So. All right. Well, that went well. Are you full? This one's even full. So, pistol ready. Don't need that. Uh, full and loaded. Full and loaded. Man, this is going to go quicker than I thought. Full and loaded. Let's see what we can do with this bad boy. See, it looks like it's in terrible condition, but it's really not that bad. And you are also full. Man. Let's see what we can do with this thing. I think I can... I can do a little bit. A 
I'm pretty sure that's all. Once it gets into blue, you need a uh, ramrod, and I don't have one. This one needs loaded. Well, that was easy. Now to decide. I could go see about having this repaired with the stealth mod because, because then it's kind of viable to actually sneak around. I'm tempted. Let's go ahead and see how much it costs to have this thing fixed. And I probably should make sure that it'll even go on this thing before I get carried away. So, dress mode. Doesn't appear to. Um, but I could still carry it on the pistol, I guess. Suppressors just take a lot of damage, you know? Let's see how much it costs and we'll decide from there. Maybe I'll put it off to another day. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this thing on the shelf. And then if I get a mission where I think I'm really going to need it, I'll spend the money to repair it and we'll move on. So I'll stick it in here. Probably shouldn't have used it to begin with in the newbie zone. So like super valuable items will go there in the darkness where it's almost impossible for me to see them. Um, we are good on food and energy. Let's try to find a mission. Um, wow, these are all in the route. I expected to go... I expected to go, uh, to the village. Let's find the special way to bring it back. Probably already have that. Sample container, that I don't have yet, but we can do that. Man, I really thought I was going to the village today. Find the neon. Pretty sure I already have the neon. And bring photos of enemies. I bet I can't buy a camera. Let's try. I bet I can't buy a camera. Doesn't look like I'm going to the village today. That's kind of disappointing. I'm going to see what I can turn in here. Maybe I can get a village mission after that, but I bet I can't buy a camera. But these are those mission objectives. So, science equipment. I can buy a camera. So that's like the only thing I can buy. Okay. So I've got this thing. We're already complete missions. Get out of the way, bag. Okay. So this neon. It's not the neon. Uh, what kind of enemies do we need a picture of? A mimic policeman? We can try. So, try to get a picture of a Mimic Policeman, find a sample container, find a Neon. Seems pretty reasonable. We'll uh, top up the ammunition in that one gun, and we'll be ready to get out of here. The PP-91 on my extra magazine for that, we'll go ahead and top it off. Uh, hopefully I don't need it. Okay, are you full? <laughs> All right. Somebody pointed out to me that there was something hidden in here, and I want to try to find it real quick before we move on. And it's been so long since I read the comment that I actually don't remember where it is. Hey, this is the uh, birthday cake Spike found. That is surprisingly well rendered. 
We've got some smokes too. I remember that. That's cool. We've got tea bags over here and a teapot. Um, supposedly there's something else cool hidden in here. I see it. You guys probably can't see it. It's right on that walkway. Right on my knife tip. Of course, that should be the eye you're recording with. Uh, it's like a it's like a little card house. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. Can't get in there. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Well, anyway. Yeah, I'll, next time I get a scope, I'll look at it closer. There's a card house up on that on that rail. All right, uh, everyone that skipped the intro, welcome back. I've got a handful of missions that are still for the route. I, uh, I wanted to go into the village. Let's make sure I didn't add a village mission real quick. Man, I'm flustered today. I'm flustered today. This will be quick. This will be quick. Yeah, I've got all the missions I can carry right now. Okay, so it'll be in the route. I'm carrying my... PT 3133 and my PP91. So we're going to have some fun. This zone's mostly cleared from the previous runs, so this might not be as exciting as I had hoped. I really wanted to go to the village, but I don't have any missions to go to the village. I mean, I guess I can still take a look, but I might as well wait for missions. <sighs> Feels good. Okay, so we got two days. Just so you guys know, I am supposed to take a picture of one of the policemen. I am supposed to find a neon, and I'm supposed to find a sample container. So, M2's up there. M2 is the neon. We can grab it real quick uh, while we're in this area. But this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a good day. It's gonna be kind of an easier day than I had in mind, uh, but that's okay. I really wanted to go to the village today. Um, it is what it is. I'll definitely be able to go next week. While we're doing this, let's uh, whittle down our cassette collection, huh? Explorers, this is a friendly reminder from the UNPSC not to attempt to leave the Ventura's exclusion zone as demarcated by the electric fence surrounding the site. We deeply regret the necessity of this measure, taken for your own protection, as well as for the protection of anyone attempting to enter the zone. Exposure to radiation and other after effects of the event have made the world outside the exclusion zone toxic for those who were in close proximity to the asteroid strike. Every survivor who left the exclusion zone before the area was cordoned off died within hours despite the best efforts of the UNPSC's medical specialists. No medications or surgical interventions, not even the creation of controlled environments, succeeded in slowing the deterioration of organ function in those unfortunate survivors of the event. There have been no medical breakthroughs since that would suggest that doctors would be able to save a survivor who exited the zone. We hope that our research, with your assistance, will in time permit for such a breakthrough. Meanwhile, the UNPSC is with you in your efforts to maintain whatever normalcy is possible under the circumstances. We are committed to providing you with everything you need for a safe and comfortable existence in return for your continued cooperation. You know, that's the first time I've heard that cassette. It confirms that there was an asteroid strike. Uh, it reinforces what you learn going through, like, the firing range training area, that the survivors of the event can't leave the area or they suffer organ failure. That's pretty interesting. That's the first time I've, I'd have found that confirmed. All right. Well, we've already got one objective. This is going to be an easy day. Uh, so we'll go over to M3. M3 should be taking pictures of the Mimic. So we'll see how that goes. I don't have any body armor, so I'm gonna have to be pretty swift. And I apologize for having three episodes in a row where I didn't get out of this zone. But, I, uh, other than like some menial tasks like loading bullets in boxes and stuff, 
they don't skip anything I do. So if you guys want to see what this game is kind of in its entirety, that's part of the point of these videos. That and I find that videos are cut together quickly. I mean, you just kind of see the action and you you miss the full energy of the game. Right? Part of what makes the action exciting is that you spend quite a bit of time doing this, walking around in kind of suspense, watching yourself, and that makes the combat more exciting. And I think that's kind of that's like the X factor in a battle royale game, like PUBG. You spend so much time walking around looting, thinking, and watching that when there's a shootout, you know, it ramps up and you have that contrast. It's super exciting and fun that way. So one of the reasons I don't like to cut out these sections where maybe not a lot's going on except I'm walking around with my own thoughts because that's a very real part of the game experience. Okay. In theory, there's a policeman over here. And we're going to take his picture for some reason. And they don't like that. <laughs> That's one thing they've mimicked very well. Police officers do not like to have their pictures taken. So this was all caused by an asteroid. Right? Or a meteor. Big rock. Big space rock, specifically. Okay. I don't know if there is a Mimic police officer because I killed everything over here. So if there is a Mimic police officer, it spawned him for me for this mission. Don't see anybody. our guard up. We'll have to move pretty quick. They can kill me in just a few bullets. This is, a uh, unfortunate. So, they're not here because I eliminated them earlier. That's okay, I have a plan, I have a plan. We'll go up here and get this thing, bring it down here, we'll go into the village and we'll try to get a picture. And maybe we can even unlock that uh, alternate route. So we have a plan. Let's go. So it did not spawn a new Mimic policeman for me, which surprises me. Most missions do spawn mobs. Like up here where this uh, container I'm looking for, I've already cleared this, but I fully expect a good handful of mobs. Okay. We might even be able to get a police. Right over here. So far, no mobs either. Man, that's that's a good picture. Look at that. Maybe I'll remember and use that. The thumbnail last week was pretty weak. I knew it was. Just ran out of time to work on it better. What is going on? Well, That wasn't very exciting. We'll, uh, we'll head to the village. We'll try to get our picture there. It's starting to get dark, so try to be as swift as we can. But at least we're going to the village zone. That'll give us some exciting loot.
if I can successfully clear these buildings without getting killed. Though I hate to attempt this in the dark, because this is going to be busy. Okay. There's usually some great artifacts down there. <clears throat> We're going to skip that today. One, money's not that useful to me, except for, like, repairing silencers and stuff. Um, two, it's going to get dark. It's going to get dark, and I've got a job to do. We're going to have to play this pretty smart. We've got a spider thing down there. We've got a spider thing over here somewhere. And this should have several mobs. So we're going to have to play this pretty smart. I'm going to have to identify the police officer before he sees me in... Unfortunately, I'm probably going to wind up firing some shots at these stupid spiders and give my position away as I didn't bring the suppressor. That looks like a police officer. It is. Dang. This is going to be exciting. So, I can use this with my left hand. Pistol in the right hand. I can hear that thing, I can't see it. Stress is on. Let's go. This is the fun part. Shit. Nice shot. Ow. We're doing help. We're doing okay. Damn. All right. This is exciting. All right. Okay. 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 What we got? Damn. scared me off already. Dude, bro. Dude, bro. Alright. Okay. Stealth. really have time to aim. Uh, not my best work, but we got through it. Don't 
There's this magazine. What did I do? Bring a wrong mag? We're having a bit we're having a bad day here. There we go. Shit. Okay. Alright. That was super messy. I played terrible. You I am not in the mood anymore. Keep blocking my own damn light. Anybody else? I got tangled up because when I ejected my magazine, I went to to like toss it, and somehow I didn't eject it right. So then when I went to reload, I got confused. So that was a shit show. I apologize. Like that was freaking horrendous gameplay out of me. Pretty fortunate to have survived. We'll heal up some with this, which I hate to use. And then we're going to loot these buildings since we're here. But that was that was miserable on my part. I've attracted every mob in the zone with my gunfire. just goes to show that this uh, stealth mod I have is not overpowered. Like it re reduces their field of view a little bit and their range a little, but it's not significant. And if you play poorly like I did on this entire adventure, uh, that's what you get. But it, it goes to show like how kind of dependent I became on my laser sights because I'm not shooting that great. And I've been rushed on most of these shots. I've not taken my time. I did miss some pistol shots there that I should have landed. I didn't miss by a lot, but I missed. In theory, this is relatively safe looting now. One of these houses even has a stash, if I recall. What are these? Nice. Those will be useful. Can't reach. Nothing in there. A little food. Anything else of merit? Toothbrush. Finding a ton of those magazines. Okay. There's probably a spawner around here too. So even though I've made a lot of noise and cleared a lot of mobs, there'll be more soon. Heck, I can hear it. We better get it. not being able to grab things. Whoa. This could be the stash. Gotta get this looted quick. Something's coming. Man, I'm awful with this thing. At least I can half-ass shoot this. I'm not all that excited about carrying that again. Like, I'm shooting that thing absolutely terribly. Ooh. If 
only I had an AK. It's going to take a while to sort all this stuff back at base. Because I've got some stuff that's like falling into new categories. Oh, let's see. We can use that. Another one of those. Uh, I have not played well today, but that's okay. I'm getting the job done. Well, I grabbed those magazines because they usually have a few bullets in them. Who's that? flashlight that goes on an S rail. That will be absolutely super valuable. So if I find something with an S rail, this has an S rail. I've got a light on my gun. And 20 rounds. Nice. And you really got to keep your eyes open. This looks like a mob up there. Could just be part of the fence. Careful with the water. Yeah, you really got to keep your eyes open. That flashlight, that would have been super easy to miss, and I'd have regretted that. What we got here? Yep, that's the good stuff. I don't know where I put my stuff. I'll sort it out after. I got a little flustered on this run, and I've not been playing well since. it wasn't boring that's stuck
Not as much in here as I was hoping. Plenty of drawers to check though. It's gonna take me forever to sort this stuff. So, like my instinct is that checking cabinets and stuff is still really not worth it, even with the mod, but that flashlight was literally sitting on a bench. So, it's absolutely worth it to be thorough now. See what Katya has to say. Nice of you to hang out in Spider Valley, by the way. Old people without family to take care of them used to live in this village. I knew one of them, a woman, one of my kindergarten teachers. She retired and moved out of the city just a couple years before I finished school. She could have retired earlier, but she loved working with children. So she kept working till she couldn't be on her feet so many hours of the day. I don't think she had children of her own. I used to visit her at the kindergarten and later out here. She was hunched over and wrinkled, but as commanding as ever. I wonder what happened to her. She died, of course, but how? What were her final thoughts? I hope she was at peace. No one deserved it more. Well, that was heartfelt. Let's uh, let's cleanse our palate with some nonsense. for the music ones. They're just a little... Damn! That was pretty good shooting for no laser sight. Well, I didn't have to... I didn't have to sweat not finding cops to take pictures of. How are we doing on ammo? Part of my problem with the guns today is I've been playing some other games too. And you get used to which buttons they want you to push. And then that screws you in the next game. Look out for the red valve sticking out of the water near a pile of rocks. It's a stash location. Dropped all my equipment into the water and ran like crazy. Look out for the red valve sticking out of the water near a pile of rocks. Okay. I've never found that one. We've had a pretty thorough little day, though. I'm gonna snatch something else while I'm here, and then I think we're gonna see if the... Uh, shortcut is accessible at my security level Which, probably not but we'll find out nice glad i found that because i wasted some meds today our old friend the teddy bear I 
I don't know how many items like that are in the game. I have found a couple. Not on this run, of course. All right. Let's go. It was a, uh, that was kind of a mess. Got through it. You got to kind of mentally reset, work your way back in. If you overcommit and you're in a bad spot and you got the wrong gear, I mean, that's just, that's guaranteed death. So I did kind of have to run away and reset. And it's a good thing I did because I got tangled up and I still almost died because I was struggling with the controls, which is totally my fault. It was totally my fault. I played another game a couple days ago and let's see if this works. Sweet, we got our shortcut back. Uh, so yeah, I played another game a couple days ago and the buttons were different on the guns. So then when I come in here, my muscle memory is screwed up. So it's all good. It's all good. It was kind of a mess. It was kind of a mess. But uh, we got everything we were supposed to get. We can turn it all in and feel, feel good about ourselves. And then I've got tons of stuff to sort. It's gonna take forever. I gotta tell you, I don't know about this thing. I, uh, I can barely see the sights on it. So I've been kind of firing it instinctively. And I'm missing. I'm missing. I do pretty well with the pistol firing instinctively, which is to say I don't really aim. I just do this and I generally hit. Now I can I can side up for for like really difficult shots, but most of the time when you shoot, see me shoot my pistol, I'm not really aiming uh, entirely. It's instinctive shooting, and I tried that with this and I missed horrendously at extremely close range. So that was bad. I don't know. Deliver. Uh, it looked like my paparazzi thing didn't clear. I thought I just needed the cop. What? This stuff here. What am I looking for? The rift? Oh, a sample container. Okay. That's in here somewhere. There it is in the back. Complete. Um, find the neon. And it's saying that I didn't do the paparazzi mission entirely. Okay. Silly me. Uh, that's okay. We will do that another day. I'm not going back out today. I'm gonna go ahead and sell what I have. So, first, stuff we're not selling. I can't sell this thing, it's part of a, uh, you know what? I don't need that much crap. I can't sell that, it's part of a different mission. Don't wanna sell that, gonna need it. Don't wanna get rid of any of our lights. This is gonna be extremely lean. So, just 573. Fortunately, we made a little money on the actual mission objectives. And I'll organize all this stuff later and maybe take this camera with me on my next run and try to get a picture. Should have plenty to do. We got our stash log here, so no other like story-based things to worry about. Go ahead and heal up real quick. Looks like I'm okay. Uh, yeah, not my best work. I apologize, I did not shoot very well today, uh, but had fun. The, uh, I really do miss my laser sight. I, I need that or uh, some kind of better optics because it's pretty difficult to see these. I can see them, but it's, it's very difficult. And uh, this is even worse. This is even worse. It's got this tiny loop on the back and then that little bitty front sight. Like this thing is extremely difficult to aim, uh, but I could probably get better at it with some practice. So. Uh, problem is, I don't have just buckets of 9x18 to practice with it. So my next run, I might even take a shotgun with me. Anyway, this will go up on Friday. Uh, by the way, it's October. Happy October. I think I'm going to play some intentional scary games for this month. Uh, and maybe early into November as well. And I am extremely jumpy. I am a very jumpy player. I get freaked out basically a man-child. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. Um, 
I've already got several games picked out, kind of downloaded and installed and ready to suffer. So I'm not, I can't promise when they will go up. They might even go up before this video, but I doubt it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that kind of a theme thing for the month. I'll, I'll torture myself and you guys get to enjoy the chaos. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'll put this up on my normal Friday slot. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you had a good week. Hopefully you got some fun weekend plans. Hopefully you're spending your free time with the people you want to spend your free time with. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this tiny channel. Have a nice day.